Good day colleagues. Um, in this new video, we are going to see how to remove the language barrier. Uh, we know that this is a challenge when uh, members, professionals from different corners of Africa, uh, they can't communicate because of the language that they are using or the person is using trying to communicate with them. So something very important to, 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 to remember is that with the learning community of practice pra uh, platform, we configured the, the language packs to work with uh, Microsoft Edge. So Microsoft Edge is well configured to work with uh, the learning community of practice. So keep that in mind. So everything we are going to do will be linked to Microsoft Edge when showing you what uh, this platform can do. We have so far worked uh, on five videos. So now we are going to talk something very important. The language barrier. Um, we are from different countries across the continent. Some uh, speak French, others Portuguese, Spanish, Arabic, and so on. So, as I said earlier, uh, we we installed the uh, different language packs to ensure that at least four languages are. Uh, uh, captured in this system. We can add more if really necessary. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can uh, change the language of the information that is displaying on the screen. So let's say John speak only English, but he doesn't speak French or Portuguese. Okay, so let me log in as uh, John. I put the password. Always keep your password secret. You don't want somebody to mess with your information within this platform. Okay, we created something in the group. A forum. A forum is where different members of the groups are going to interact, to engage in discussions, brainstorming uh, sessions, and so on. Now, as John, I'm going to access uh, the group. The information here is in English, so no problem for John. Uh, John is going to access uh, the different introduction done by different members. Okay, so you can see Maurice introduce himself in French, and John cannot understand French. So this should not be a problem because John is going to tell the system to translate what is on the screen that is in a language that he cannot understand and later on he can respond. So let's say a John wants to read what Maurice said and respond to what he said. So John can click on reply. Immediately, the system will give a space to reply. But before to reply, John needs to understand what Maurice said. So John can tell the system, please translate this in English. But here the system is showing in Portuguese. But the John will click on Portuguese. But John will go there. You see there is this icon. You see, this is in uh, Portuguese, but John still not able to understand this. Immediately, there is an icon on 
top there. You click on it. You see saying Portuguese. Now John will say, no, I want in English. Click on English and say translate. Immediately, the information that Maurice uh, wrote in French will be in English and John will be able to understand what Maurice said and John will immediately go back and type his own response based on what Maurice said. He can respond to the comment or the views or the sharing of information uh, from Maurice. Okay. So this is very, very critical because what we are saying today, we are saying that digital transformation is here to support our work, to do what we were not able to do in the past. So what is happening currently, if I'm speaking English and I see a message in French, most of the time I will not even try to do anything, I just skip it and I go to do other things. But today, this issue is over now. So we are trying to add this technology, this digital transformation to ensure that collaboration, sharing of information, discussions, everything can happen simultaneously without really going somewhere else to look for somebody and to translate for us what other people have said. So let me summarize uh, what we discuss in this video. So not speaking a language, another person uh, wrote in a message, sharing information, communication, and so on, should not really be a problem with this digital transformation we are talking about. So we added this functionalities in the learning community of practice platform to ensure that all professionals across the African continent can communicate, share information and collaborate. So if you see, for example, a language, so now I use an example of John. John doesn't speak French. John speak only English. So what Maurice wrote there, John can ask the system to translate for him. So John need to just to click on the, uh, the, the, the page. Uh, you right click to select translate to French. But John doesn't want to translate to French, but that's not a big issue for now. But pay attention on this icon. So when I click translate to French, immediately that icon will show where we have the URL, the website address. So I click on it so that I can change the language. I tell the system I want what Maurice said in English. And I click on translate and basically let me repeat again i think i clicked in the wrong place english i click translate you can see immediately the system translates the message that was in french into english so that the person who wants to respond to what maurice said the person can do it without any problem Okay, so uh, John will be able to go there and to translate, uh, not to respond in English. Maurice wrote in French, now John can respond in English because he understood what Maurice said. Okay, so this really is something very powerful that will allow people to collaborate without any problem. So let's say um let me log out let's say you speak portuguese you don't understand what is in english or french before to log in 
so you can just right click on this page and you select translate in english because that's what is there but you don't want things in english you want the translation in portuguese so you have to go where you have the url there is this uh, small icon you tell the system please portuguese not french not english i click translate and everything is in portuguese but you can also see that the login page is also in portuguese but i can tell the system no please uh, change the language of the platform into portuguese so everything will be in portuguese from the platform uh, site but if i change this in portuguese you can see things come back again in french and english but that should not be a problem you just right click you can see that icon is no longer there for the translation so i right click i go to translate to portuguese and i will be able to see everything in portuguese what i want to tell you in order to be able to do this you have to use the browser uh, for microsoft the microsoft microsoft edge browser that one is well configured to work with the uh, learning uh, community or practice platform thank you very much